Hello and welcome to Kismetrizing. Today I'm looking at the Minkiati Tarot from, uh, from Brian Williams and uh, this is the 97 card tarot uh, of the Renaissance. Okay, So it's a tarot deck that has uh, several um, of the major arcana cards in, in a different order as well as uh, the elements and the ast astrological signs in there as well as well as uh, several um, virtue car cards in the, in the major arcana. And uh, for those of you who are interested in uh, knowing what's in the Brian Williams uh, deck, uh, or if you want to purchase it, then it comes in a box like this, okay, and it opens up like this, where there are basically two spaces. Oh, let's see if I can show this to you. There are basically two spaces here where the cards fit in, as well as the book. And um, the, the, the quality of it is not that sturdy. It's actually quite... Um, it's yeah, it's not the most sturdy quality. It's it's quite um, thin. Okay, so um, it comes with this book, however, which is one of the few books that are out there that describes the the meanings of the cards in this uh, and yeah, what 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 it symbolizes, uh, as well as yeah. So those of you who read tarot know that we know what the meanings are of the cards, but um, there's not much that's out there about the Minkiati tarot and. Uh, and, and the meanings of the virtue cards and how you're supposed to use them. And this book goes into a bit of detail about that, okay? It has um, uh, more than, it has 264 pages here and it has an, um, a, um, an index of the primary sources as well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still learning the Minkiati Tarot and so I'm, I haven't really used it as yet on clients or just uh, not even personally. And so I'm, I'm still trying to feel what the energies are and, and see if it's something I would like to use in the future. But um, yeah, I'm and that that's the reason I purchased this one because it seems like an introduction or a, an easier way to get into the Minkiati as opposed to the other... Um, yeah, the Etruria decks, or yeah, it's it just it's just a more user friendly deck. The artwork is also a bit easier on the eye. Um, yeah, and it's it's clearer. Um, I don't particularly think it's beautiful, but uh, it's just clearer and it's a good learning um, deck to have. So I want to just go into the cards, and um, in my next video, I will um, I will actually uh, do a comparison between the Minkia Minkiate Etruria. And, uh, and these cards here. All right, so this is your back of it, for those of you who are interested. All right, and um, I, just before I, I go on, I just want to mention that uh, minchiate is, um, is a, minchia is an Italian word that basically refers to uh, the, the penis, and it's actually a swear word, and minchiate is actually a swear word that's basically used, it's a vulgar uh, term that's used in in the south of Italy, like in uh, uh, Sicily and these areas. So um, it's interesting that this deck has the name uh, Minkiate, uh, and I'm not really sure of the origins of it, but um, yeah, I'm sure that one could Google that. Um, okay, so let's just go into these cards. Um, so yeah, we have it. Oops, I've, we're starting from the back. All right, so actually let's not do that. So you have the Fool, hope you can see that clearly enough. And I'm just going to go through this quite quickly. You have the, um, the Magician. You can pause this along the way if you'd like to. The Grand Duke. The Western Emperor. The Eastern Emperor. The that what is the lovers in the other decks? Temperance. So yeah, this is uh, just a good walkthrough for those of you who are interested in using this deck, and you know you want to get a feel of the images before you 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 purchase it. Um, yeah, I had I couldn't find one like this out there, so I've decided to put this out there for you. So 
So your virtue cards here. And then your elemental color, uh, um, cards, your fire, water, earth, and air. And this is, I have to say that these cards are really user friendly because they have the number here and they, they have the, um, the name of it. And you don't really have them uh, like that in the other in the other uh, decks. You have just the Roman numerals and you've got to figure out what is what. So I'm just going to go right ahead. Um, Libra. Oh, yeah, so that, that's your astrological signs that starts Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus, and Gemini here, and the star. Okay, so then we come back to the uh, cards of the Major Arcana, and we have uh, just uh, four of them. The star, the moon, the sun, the world, and then we have, um, yeah, this is like the trumpets in the other deck. Uh, it's called Fame here, but in the, um, it's like the Judgment card, but it comes last. It's the last card of the Major Arcana. So there are 40 Major Arcana cards here. Okay, so that's that. So then, um, put these aside. And so we're starting with the, um, the um, Ace of Staves or Wands, the two, three, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, let's do that. It's a bit easier for you. Your page, your knight, your queen. And your king, and with the other decks, you, it's not so clear what is the 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 page um, or the queen. Sometimes you could, I mean, of course, the ones that uh, have the um, the crowns, obviously the king and the queens, but um, and all the knights in the other one are, are half horse, half man. So that's a, a good indicator, but it's not immediately obvious, and so it helps when you're learning to have it written out there for you. Your your cups, the suit of cups. So your two of cups, three of cups, four of cups, five, six, seven, eight, nine, This is your, your swords, yeah, your suit of swords. The other thing about this is that each suit has a different color. So if you look at the, the water signs, um, they are blue. Um, the, the swords are like a kind of yellowish color. And then this is your, uh, your staves, your wands, which are a green color, okay. your Ten of Swords. Not unlike some of the other Italian uh, decks. All right, so here's um, your page, your knight, which is half horse, queen, and the king. So, um, and then the last suit, which is coins, they're a kind of pink, color here. I don't know if you see that so clearly on this light. It's your ace. So once again, please just pause the video if you want to take a look at these cards. Uh, as in the other, um, in, as in the Etruria, the faces are different on the coins and some of the cards, um, like this one being the seven.
Okay, and so that was um, that was it. It's your king of coins. So if you are interested in um, in uh, having a, a review of this deck just do let me know in the comment section down below I'd probably be a while before I get back to you because I want to be able to use it really well before I actually uh, you know review it um, or comment on it and I also like to uh, to review it in accordance with the other uh, yeah with the other uh, deck the Etruria uh, I think this is going to be a nice uh, uh, deck to begin using, uh, begin uh, reading the Minkiati with, um, but I would like to graduate onto using the Turia version. The Tr so um, I did post a video already on uh, as a quick uh, look into the Minkiati Turia, and um, next week I will uh, post a, a video in which I do a comparison between the Minkiati Turia and the Minkiati Tarot, which is by Brian Williams. So I thank you all for visiting my channel and uh, I won't be doing many of these uh, quick looks or, or, or reviews um, as I don't find them to be that much of fun. I just uh, think it, uh, since there's not much information about the Minkiati out there that I would uh, put this out. But uh, I thank you all for uh, coming by and visiting the channel and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.